Guys, I'm back again. So this is the other part of the show that I'm going to be doing. So let's get on with this one. <laughs> so here are some of my die-cast planes. And if you're wondering what these are, they're just air fresheners. So this is the Russian Bariv um, A50M, and it's also die-cast as well, and it's very very cool. I got them from a uh, Great Warplanes collection magazine. And this one is the AWAC um, Boeing E3. Also awesome. <laughs> then I've got the Junkers JU290. Just look at the size of that. <laughs> The Germans were very creative on some of the aircraft that they made, like back in the day. <laughs> um, here is Emily, which is a big Japanese flying sea boat sort of plane, a bit similar towards the um, the very massive uh, German Blomenvoss BV Triple Two, I believe, and. There's also a collection down here I'm going to show you now. And these are my other ones. So, I've got Gloucester Gladiator. I've got the end decker there. Then we have the Spad. I believe I've lost the tail on there. I'll have to glue that back on. Then, obviously, we've got the Condor. We've got the JU 52. We have got the Memphis Bell Flying Fortress B-17. Then we have the Halifax B. The Avro Lancaster. C-130 Hercules, followed by the Vickers Wellington. Then the PBY Catalina. The Yardvark F-111A. And then the Blomenvoss BV triple two Wiccan followed by another Focke Wolf, the Albatross and another plane there so I've got quite a few there guys um, so I'm going to show you in here now and then on the top so in here consists of my uh, very famous HMS Belfast and I built this over Christmas and then I added all the rigging to it and everything. And then I got my official uh, Lancaster keyring from the RAF company. And I just thought I'd display it with it being all RAF. My sister did these, which are the um, RAF roundels. And just at the back there is HMS Rodney. And in front of HMS Rodney is the Duke of York. In all of its glory. Brilliant guys, absolutely brilliant. And then just underneath there we have the HMS Ark Royal. And I did that one years ago as well. Loved the build, absolutely adored the build. And that's the old Ark Royal that's sunk. And there's some more round dolls my sister did. Thank you, Joe, for that. Um, there's HMS Victorious R38, which is a shame it got scrapped. Very long time ago. Just love the build of that. Then here's HMS King George V. All done by me, these. As I say, I've been a modeler for years now. At the back here, we have USS Long Beach right at the back. And then just near that is the HMS Hood. Then just near that is the USS Cassage. 
And then near the Cassage is the very two famous German battleships. So we've got Tirpitz. And then just near Tirpitz is my favourite Bismarck. It took me forever to do the Bismarck guys, honestly. But it was so worth it. And obviously, that's not a decal, guys. I actually did that myself. The swastika on it and that. Being German, anyway. And if you're wondering why, why I'm sniveling, guys, I don't have a cold. It's just um, I was sneezing earlier and because there's dust flying about. So, up here we have the very famous Harker Hurricane. Then we have the Fulmer. Just near that is the very famous Tiger Moth. Then we have the Camel Triplane. And then we have another Swordfish here, which is my favourite. I just had to get another one so I could do another version of it. And then we have the very famous Jump Jet Harrier. 148th scale, I believe it was. And just near there we have the other die cast planes here. So I have a Vulcan Bomber, XH558, which is retired now. And I love the Vulcan. I don't I, I hate it guys when they retired it. Um such a famous plane, but they couldn't keep it in service. Had a lot of problems and stuff. Um this is a Vickers Valiant, and I believe there's one somewhere at the museum. Um, I don't know where, but I know there's one. Um, another very famous player. And then just up here, I have my two zeros. And then I have my other Japanese plane. So I have a Val Bomber. Archie Val Bomber. Then I have the very famous Kate Torpedo Bomber. And then just up above here, I have the Sea Vixen which I converted from a training uh, vampire and I just made it into the Z Vixen <laughs> then I have my wildcat Pearl Harbor and then I have my Dauntless dive bomber and then I have my training vampire there and just up above that I have my P-51 Mustang then I have my Skyhawk. And just up above there I have my Tiger 2. Then I have my Starfighter. Canadian. Then I have my Sabre. Up there. Uh, the P-80 Shooting Star there. And then I have my Hellcat there. So yeah guys, I've got an awesome collection of models, I know, I've collected them over the years and it's really really awesome. And just down here I've got my cars, so obviously they'll have to be in it. <laughs> so obviously I've got my BMW Z4 GT3, which does make sound when I push down on it, so and it lights up. I thought it was really cute when I got it. Um, this is my Advan Z 2004 C West. Awesome. The very famous GTR guys. Love that car. Then I have got another car here, Post GT3. And this is what I'm really, really going to show you guys. Is my Vipers here? I've got three Vipers. As I love, my, I, I love the Dodge Viper. Um, so here is the one I customed. When I first got this car, guys, it had orange lines and it was just ugly. And I converted it. I put the white stripes on it, and then I put the exhausts on the back. And obviously, as you can see, it opens up as well. So <laughs> then I've just received my new one here, and it is the 2014 Viper. On the 2015 version GTS, and this was just basic blue, so I had to put the stripes on here as well. 
just had to do that guys and then I have my ACR Viper there and the spoiler on the back <laughs> awesome and then I've got my 118th scale Viper here which is the big version of it and obviously the doors open and then that opens up and the engine opens up so <laughs> and then I had to top it off I haven't had this out of the box since I bought it um, this is my Lamborghini official Super Trofero uh, it's a Gallardo and it's got the Lamborghini um, logo on there to say it's an official Lamborghini then I have my Ferrari name badge plate that I got from Benidorm <laughs> And I just thought I had to display my Ferraris above it. So I've got my 458 Italia. My Enzo. And the F50. And then just above there is my Lamborghinis. Which is the Aventador. The LP670 Mercilago. And the Superleggera Gallardo there. And soon to come is the uh, Huracan. Because I'm getting that as well. Shortly. Can't wait. And here is another big die cast plane from the magazines. So here is the uh, C1, the C17 Globe Mars. I trip myself up there. Followed by the shorts Tucano. I know it's dusty, guys, because I haven't a chance to clean. This is my World War One RAF. Um, I forgot what type of plane it is, but I know it's an RAF model. Um, this is the very famous Camel. <laughs> and obviously it's a red arrow which is the hawk followed by the B-52 which guys I'm getting the bigger version soon the Italia, Italieri or Italieri model of it the B-52G I'm getting that shortly with the Sky Master as well and just to top it all off guys as you can see with me being in the planes I have my two Tiger Moths here which I got from a very special friend Kate and uh, she gave me those a long time ago well a couple of years ago I think it was <laughs> and I made this one myself which is of the XB70 Valkyrie and I thought it looked awesome and you'll see it's got quite an American theme at Marflat and that's because I love America I really do want to get the chance to go someday and this is another special one that my mate give me for the Spitfire. And then I have this other big massive one that I got from the uh, car boot sale. I believe it was £15 or £10 I think. Yeah, £10 guys. And I love that when I first got that. I just had to have it and I displayed it with the flag in the background. Just had to. And then guys, here is the other part of the show, and these are my biggest models that I've done. Now these have took me a long time and a lot of years. So I'm starting off with Fifi, and this is the only B-52 that's flying today. Um, I had no decals with this guys, so as you can see I did the Fifi logo myself, and I also did that A on the tail, just to make it all look good and stand out and then my sister Jo bought me the uh, Catalina because she knew I was after it part of the war as well, Pearl Harbor so I just had to have that as well <laughs> and he's a very famous Memphis Bell guys which is another awesome aircraft I've actually got the film as well <laughs> every war film I've got um, this one is the B25 Mitchell and I called it Irene and I did it part of the Doolittle Raid here is the C130 Hercules my mum got me oh, this was going back a lot of years this is about 10 year old I think now 9 year old I'm not quite sure it's old though um, this is the Victor Bomber that took me forever to get hold of this one couldn't believe it when I got hold of it. 
I seen it and I just thought, yeah, you know what, you're mine. <laughs> and this is another special aircraft my mate sent me. This is the Hawker Hunter. Another awesome plane. Now, going around here now, this is the F4U Corsair. Another big uh, plane, I believe it's a 130 second scale, guys. And this one's the same, 130 second scale. This is my um, Mosquito de Havilland. And my mum got me that. So I had to follow it up by getting the Bristol Bowfighter. Then I got the Short Sunderland. I had to get the Short Sunderland guy. Just had to get that. Then I have the very famous XH558 Vulcan Bomber. Followed by the Valiant. Followed by the short sterling and right next to that is the Halifax B and right here is the MiG-29 Fulcrum and then right near this is I think it's an Arado 196 seaplane German and this one right here is the Blommen Voss B V222. Massive, I know. <laughs> and then over here is the Dakota. Also known as the C47 Skytrain. This is the English Electric Canberra. Or Canberra. Such a weird name for a plane, but. Or Canberra. And just above here is the Boeing B B twenty four. Yeah, B twenty four Liberator. I was just thinking what that was there. <laughs> and this one the tar this one was the best. I just had to have this one. One of my favourites out of all of them. And this is the F fifteen Strike Eagle. It's not, not my like fully favourite, but it's just awesome. I had to get it. It's just really, really good build. I, I enjoyed that build, guys. You should get one of those. 148 scale on Ravel. Get one, guys. And this one was the Ventura. And here is the Beast. The XB70 Valkyrie. This guy's is enormous, massive. As you can see, it's just huge. Very weird shape, I know, guys, but it was worth it to get that built. So, that was basically my model show, guys. So, I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, I have got more in the cupboard to do. Um, and like I said, I'm waiting to get all my stuff set up first, get my workstation set up and all that. Because I've got a huge uh, A400M to do. I've also got a massive Junkers G88 to do. I have got the 219U who to do. And then I've got two uh, 124 scale um, airfix models and that's of the Spitfire and there's one of the Hurricane and I've also got the Javelin to do as well also the Whitley Whitworth and that's coming shortly because I am doing that one so I'd like to thank each and every one of you for supporting my channel like you have been doing I'd like to say a big thank you to all you guys for subscribing and watching all my videos I do this for you guys and I'll see you in the next couple of days when I go to the Yorkshire um, Air Museum and you'll be seeing a lot more than just my planes. So, <laughs> anyway guys, I will see you in the next one guys. So, take care of yourselves, look after yourselves, keep on modelling, keep on doing your reviews, do whatever makes you happy guys and I'll see you later. Bye now.